you gotta love your job. You realize it's actually not a job. I wake up every day excited to be here. I'm so excited and, 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 and obviously it's not a bed of roses. There's days where it's tough, but I'm just excited to be here and you gotta have that love and passion about your job. Otherwise, you become like a grumpy old test giver and you don't wanna be that. The students, they feel that. They, they, you know, they're, they're inspired. They want to feel inspired by you. And so, I think by coming here and being excited every day, that that's really important. You need to be the model for happiness every day and teach your kids to be happy and tell them that they're responsible for their own happiness while they're at school. Around them, um, and I think the best thing to be is authentic. Be real with them because this, the moment you act inauthentically or act be, act a way you think is mandated of you, they sense that and it it kind of diminishes that relationship that's really important that first year because you need to rely on them just as much as they need to rely on you. You have to take your cues from them to make sure that you're moving and going in the right direction. Well they need to know how we start something so um, how, how do you line up when you're coming into the classroom? Where do you line up? Who comes in first? If we're getting materials for something, how how am I going to be organized about doing that? Is it by table groups? You can't have them all at one time go, okay, go get your stuff. That doesn't work at all. And so make sure that you ask for help because no matter how great your teacher credential program is, how fabulous your master teachers were in your assignment for being able to teach in the classroom, you're never fully prepared for real life experience. There's always something that comes up and it's like, oh, I never even experienced that. They didn't prepare me for that. I would say is to really work to form relationships with your coworkers and especially your grade level partner uh, to the point where you have someone to go to for anything. Um, they, I've learned that teachers love to share and support each other. I would tell them not to be afraid to reach out and find that support group on the staff know that there are mentors there for you, but also don't forget that you can mentor senior teachers. You have skills that you may not know that you have. Um, my best advice would be to make really good relationships with your team and your staff and hold on to those relationships because they'll end up being your long-term friends and your best support. I think one of the most important things is show up. Nothing great happens if you're not there. Give yourself time. It's, time is a good thing and collaborate with the people around you, rely on veteran teachers, be nice to your secretary and your custodian, and definitely rely on your bits of staff. We have phenomenal women in there who will help make your classroom exactly what you want it to be. The most important things, the three most important things you can do is uh, connect with your students. They need you and you need them, and to connect with your colleagues. It's really important to have a sense of community uh, in your district and at your site. And lastly is to find balance in your life. Um, a balance between your work life and finding time for yourself and for your family and to stay healthy. But in the end, it's very rewarding. You'll make some great relationships with fellow teachers and you will make some excellent relationships with students and you'll really feel in the end like you've made a difference in their lives. Um, accept help from anybody who offers it. <laughs> Let um, everybody know that you're happy to be at school every day. Um, keep a positive attitude. You just make sure you plan time for yourself and then as soon as you can get involved in uh, 403B, which is where you can put away extra money for yourself, do that. Be, because start your tax sheltered annuity. You think you don't have that much money, but even if you can put away $50 a month, it's going to grow. Teachers need to collaborate and there's no need to reinvent the wheel if your next door neighbor is already doing something great. So. Collaborate as much as you can and don't be afraid to ask questions. It's already out there. So look out there, see what resources already exist, and then take it and tweak it for your own classroom and your own students. Um, so the internet and technology is your best friend <laughs> and will help you, inspire you to see what fits for you and your students in your classroom. This job will take every second that you give to it. So if you're going to stay there day and night, it will take day and night. There's always something else that you can do, always something else to prepare or to plan. And so you have to have a cutting off point where you say, I'm done. I'm done for today. I'll be back tomorrow. Know when to go home. I think that 
you spend so much time your first year in the classroom, which you should, I mean, until like eight o'clock, but then take time for yourself and for your family and just look around you and know that this is a 24-7 job if you make it that way, so you have to make the choice to not make it that way. I ended up saying yes when I should have said no. And I think that's a, a problem that a, um, a lot of first years deal with, that they think they always have to say yes. They have to be yes, 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 yes. And there are times when you have to say no and, and, and stay true to that. And that's important. So be, tr be true to the kids and be true to yourself. And I think that's really what it comes down to. Is that you are completely making memories for these kids. This is something they're going to look back on in their life. They are going to either remember you or the school or their friends and the experience that they're getting through everything you teach them. And so you want to make great memories. You're all, and, and that's the fun part of teaching is that you're always learning and that you, you get to be with these people all the time. Your colleagues help you learn, the kid, you learn from the kids. So yeah, you're always a learner. It's an exciting profession that way. Teachers' advice is to think bold, make a difference in the lives of, of your students, and be a part of the community. And, and that's the Lucy Amar way. And that's how come um, these people or new teachers are hired in this district to make it to make a difference.